Hey what's up guys I am Wasi from flamelinevisualeffects.com and welcome to my another After Effects tutorial Today we are create a very exciting tutorial so let's see what we will create today Wow it's look really awesome before I start tutorial, I like to tell you thank you so much everyone for your love and support and uh, please subscribe my channel for more updates. Uh, it's totally free. Okay, now let's get started. Okay, so first create a new composition. Go to composition, new composition and rename it to main comp. And I'm going with full HD 1920 1080p frame rate 29.97 and duration make it 10 seconds then click on OK. Now create a text layer so right click new text then type your text here and adjust the size little bit. Okay, perfect. Now select the text layer and hold down shift and drag to make it bigger. Now center it. Then select the text layer and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the layer. Then select the last layer and right click and choose pre-compose. Select move all the attributes and rename it to gold text. Then click on OK. And now select the first layer and right click and choose pre-compose and select move all the attributes and rename it to stroke. Then click on OK. Now hide the stroke layer. And double click on gold text comp layer. Then go to project window, right click import and click on file. Then select the studio reflection image and click on import. You can download this project file from link in the description. Now select the studio reflection image and drag it into your timeline and make it smaller little bit. Then select the image layer and go to effect and preset window and search for motion tile. And select the effect and apply onto our image layer. Then increase the output height set it 140 and output width set it 340 then go to first frame and set a keyframe on title center and then go to last frame and increase the title center amount okay now select the image layer and right click and choose pre-compose and select move all the attributes and click on ok now select the layer and drag it below and change the track mat to alpha mat if you don't see the track mat button simply press F9 or click here. Ok now change the track mat to alpha mat. Ok now select the studio reflection comp layer and go to effect and preset window and search for CC blobby lies. Then select the effect and apply onto our studio reflection comp layer. Then go to blobbiness and blob layer set it your text layer and property set it alpha and softness set it 10 and cut away set it 0. Then again go to effect and preset window and search for CC glass. Then select the effect and apply onto our studio reflection comp layer. Then select the effect and I put it above. Then go to surface and bump map set it your text layer and property set it red and softness set it 40 height set it uh, maybe 50 and displacement set it minus 400 now go to light and light intensity set it 120 okay now create a new adjustment layer for this right click new and click on adjustment layer then select the adjustment layer and go to effect color correction and choose curves and adjust the curves something like this okay 
ओके परफेक्ट नाउ गो टू मेन कॉम्प एंड हाइड द गोल्ड टेक्स लेयर एंड एंड हाइड द स्ट्रोक लेयर देन गो टू इफेक्ट एंड प्रीसेट विंडो एंड सर्च फॉर वेगस देन सिलेक्ट द इफेक्ट एंड अप्लाई ऑन टू आवर स्ट्रोक लेयर देन चेंज द ब्लेंड मोड टू ट्रांसपेरेंट एंड चेंज द कलर टू वाइट एंड विथ सेट इट वन पॉइंट फाइव जीरो एंड सेगमेंट सेट इट टू एंड हार्डनेस सेट इट पॉइंट एट हंड्रेड एंड स्टार्ट ऑपासिटी सेट इट जीरो एंड मिड पॉइंट ऑपासिटी सेट इट पॉइंट फाइव थ्री फाइव Okay again go to effect and preset window and search for glow and select the effect and apply on to our stroke layer and change the glow radius to 80 Now go to around 11 frames and set a keyframe on length and rotation and length set it 0 then select the stroke layer and press u and then go forward few frames and length set it 1 and then go forward few seconds and rotation set it 140 okay now select the layer and hold down shift and press t and set a keyframe on opacity then go forward few frames and opacity set it 0 okay now press 0 to ramp view Wow, it's look good to me. Okay, now unhide the gold text layer and then go to effect and preset window and search for CC light brush 2.5. Then select the effect and apply on to our gold text layer. Then ray length set it 35. and set a keyframe on ray length then select the layer and press u and go forward few seconds and ray length set it 0 now select the layer and hold down shift and press t then go to around 1 seconds and set a keyframe on opacity and make it 0 then go forward few seconds and uh, make it 100% okay now press 0 to ramp view wow it's look good Okay now select both layers and make it 3D layer now we are create a camera so right click new and click on camera preset 35 mm then click on okay now go to toolbar and select tracker z camera tool then select the camera and press p and set a keyframe on position then select the keyframe and drag it into the first frame Okay, let's zoom out the composition and drag it. Then go forward few seconds. And drag it down. Okay, now go to end of the animation and drag it down just little bit.
okay now select this uh, keyframes and hold down control and click on keyframe for smooth animation also do same for this keyframe now we are create a background so right click new and create a new solid layer and rename it to bg background and make it uh, dark gray then click on ok ok now select the layer and drag it below ok now go to project window and right click import and file then select glowing particles and click on import then select the file and drag it into your timeline ok now select the gold text layer and go to around 6 second and press T and set a keyframe on opacity then go to around um, 7 seconds and make it 0 ok our animation is complete press 0 to ramp view thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like this tutorial please subscribe my channel it's totally free and don't forget to like and share it thank you have a great day